Hey everyone and welcome. If you're new here, I'm John, your friend in tech. I'm a software engineer based in the Bay Area and on my channel I create content around my life, career, and tech. I have a couple of vlogs on my channel where I take you around my day as a software engineer at work, but I'm not really able to show you or tell you what I'm working on because a lot of my projects are confidential until they're announced publicly. But in today's video, I'm going to be building my personal website so I'll be able to share everything including some of the code that I plan on writing as well. So based on the poll I made on my community page, I know that the majority of you who answered are still new to coding and you're still learning how to code. So I'm really glad to partner with Hostinger, who is the sponsor of today's video. And yes, you heard that right. We have a sponsor on the channel. Hostinger is a really popular web hosting platform. And the reason why I'm really excited to partner with them is because they make building websites really easy, like really, really easy. And this is perfect for people that want to build a website with no coding experience, as well as people with coding experience, but don't want to build it from scratch aka me. In today's video, I'm going to quickly walk you through the entire process of building a website using Hostinger, and then I'll share my goals for my personal website and why you should have one too. Alright, with that said, let's get started on building this personal website using Hostinger. So as you can see, we're on the Hostinger website. If you scroll down, you can see all their web hosting plans. You can see premium shared hosting, perfect package for personal websites. So with this plan, it's $2.59 a month, which is really affordable. You can have multiple websites. You have free email, free SSL, free domain, which is a really awesome. This is such a good value. So with Hostinger, it's really easy to set up. You have a simple and fast website. So before I agreed to do the sponsorship with Hostinger, I also wanted to make sure that it was a quality web hosting platform and that it's something I would actually recommend. So I actually built a website using Hostinger just to test it out and I contacted their chat support and they're really friendly and super helpful. So I definitely I definitely genuinely recommend them, especially for personal websites, which is what I'm building it for. And I think what's really cool is that they have this 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're unhappy with it for whatever reason, you can get a refund. Try them out, see if you like them. If you don't, it's really a hassle free refund. All right, so with that said, let's go and select the premium shared hosting. So the first thing they ask you is how long do you want to be with Hostinger? So you can select one month, 12 months which is one year, two years, or four years. But it's really up to you and your website needs. So let's say if you wanna create an account. So I filled out my email and now we can go down to the payment. So when I partnered with Hostinger, it was really important for me to get a coupon code to give more value to you. And so if you are interested in using Hostinger, you can add my coupon code, which is your friend in tech and you'll get an even bigger discount, which is great. Okay, so once you've submitted your payment and everything, you're taken to your H panel, which is the Hostinger control panel. You can claim your free domain. So if you don't have a domain already, you can buy it through Hostinger. I already have a domain that I wanna use for my website. So I'm just going to go straight to setting up my premium shared hosting. So this is the really great part that I like about Hostinger is that you go through this guided setup and at the end of it, you'll have a website. So I'm gonna do WordPress because that's the website I wanna build with. So I'm gonna create my WordPress account. I'm gonna block out all the details so you can see. Now it asks you to choose a layout that you like and you can customize it later on. For me, I just want something super basic and simple and so I'm just going to go skip. I don't need a template. All right, so now we're almost done setting everything up. I just need to connect my domain. So let's go connect. We need to activate it. And to do that, we need to go to GoDaddy. So now I'm at GoDaddy, I'm going to enter my own name servers. So I'm going to go back to Hostinger, copy this first one there, copy the second one, enter it there. And I'm going to save. Now we're back at Hostinger and as you can see, it may take 24 hours up for everything to get updated worldwide. Now let's click finish. Now we want to go to my WordPress dashboard. You can see my domain status. It's not pointing to Hostinger yet, so I can't view it. And this is expected because as I said earlier, it takes up to 24 hours for everything to be refreshed. And so while we're waiting for our DNS servers to take effect so that we can edit our website, let's go do something else. Right now I am feeling kind of tired, but it's too late for caffeine and I'm out of fruits here at home, so I'm gonna go and get an acai bowl, so I'm super excited for that. Let's go. Let's go. Ta-da! So it's actually not an acai bowl, it's an island pataya bowl. They were, out, they were out of stock of the acai bowl, but I'm pretty excited about this. It has bananas, strawberries. Actually, let me open it first. Oh yeah. I don't want to spill it. There's bananas, 
bananas, strawberries, blueberries, granola, coconut. It's so good. Oh yeah, and honey. Actually, let me eat this and then I'll come back to you. <laughs> I devoured that so fast I didn't realize how hungry I was. So I wanted to talk a bit more on why I'm building a website and why I think more people should have their own personal website. For me, I want to be able to help more people. So my last video was a Q&A video and I answered 56 questions and honestly that's a lot but it pales in comparison to all the questions I receive on a daily basis, especially on my Instagram. I just get so many questions and I actually get a lot of great questions and I enjoy talking with everyone but I just feel like I could help more people faster if I had a blog and so I plan on blogging more helpful content. I can definitely write blogs faster than I can make videos because I don't have to put the whole production setup up. And then by writing my blogs, I could turn my blogs into videos. And I'm actually not a stranger to blogging. I used to blog in college. I used to blog about what I was learning. I would blog about the different projects I was working on, my personal projects. I would talk about the challenges I overcame. I would even blog about my internship experiences, blog about my resumes. I would blog about everything. And by having a personal website in college, I was able to land a web design internship. I was also able to do some freelance work for a different web design agency and then because I had all that web experience when I was applying to tech internships at Fang it was really easy for me to get interviews and also even land an offer at those companies and I think if you're interested in landing a role in tech I highly suggest having a personal website it's just another opportunity to show companies who you are and what you like to work on and what you've worked on in the past because usually when you apply to companies, you're limited to a one page document and that's really not enough, especially if you're into UI and stuff like that. By having a website, you can show even more of your work. You can show all the visuals and all the things you've learned and really present yourself how you wanna be represented to these tech companies. Yeah, I think that's pretty much my spiel. Let's go home. I'm excited to get started on my personal project. What's up? <laughs> Okay, we are back. So I just got an email saying the name servers have been updated. Let's go to yourfriendintech.com and here it is. Hello world. You can see this is the website I just built using Hostinger. So that was really easy. That's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you again to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. If you're interested and you want to see what my website looks like now, be sure to click on the link down below, yourfriendintech.com. And if you want to use Hostinger as your web hosting platform, be sure to use my coupon code and I'll leave my special link to Hostinger down below as well. Here is my source code. It's really bad, so please don't judge me for this. <laughs>